Get ready for the summer solstice happening in the Northern Hemisphere at 9.13 a.m. We're using tropical astrology and universal time coordinated. The sun is going to ingress cancer and the moon will be in the sign of Aries the Ram in lunar mansion number one at the time of the summer solstice. Sun and cancer summer solstice. We're gonna give you the angelic beings you can invoke. Also, the tarot cards you can use for that invocation and also what kinds of amulets or rosaries or magical talismans that you can use jewelry or or rings or earrings you know necklaces bracelets we're going to give you the gemstone and the metals okay for the invocation of the angels for the summer solstice for where the sun's going to be and also where the moon's going to be exactly at that time so again it's astrology angel michael of the sun Okay, so the sun ingress cancer will bring the astrology angel Michael, the mighty archangel Michael of the sun. He's the planetary archangel of the sun and zodiac angel Muriel of cancer. So the zodiac angel of the sign of cancer, the crab, is Muriel. Sun in cancer also brings deep feelings. A lot of sensitive, deep feelings, so that increased sensitivity. Also, a love of hearth, home, and family. Soul in the sign of the crab also gives situations a lot of volatility, a lot of changeability, unpredictability, and bewilderment. You're going to be puzzled. That's what happens when the sun is in cancer. Now, magical talismans for the sign of cancer, the crab, is the metal of silver and the birthstone of ruby, so beautiful rubies. Now, invoke planetary archangel Michael of the sun with the solar talismans of the metal of gold and the gemstone of sunstone. Major arcana tarot card for the sun is the sun. So for Michael and for the sun, because he's the planetary archangel of the sun, you're gonna wanna go ahead and use the sun tarot card. The sun tarot card. This is the, the Jumbo Rider weight deck. And these are great for show and tell time. Okay. Also, invoke the Zodiac Angel Muriel of Cancer with the Cancerian Talismans of the Metal of Silver and the Gemstone of Ruby also. The sign of Cancer is ruled by the Moon, okay? And the major arcana tarot card for Cancer is the Chariot card. The Chariot card is the card for the sign of Cancer, the Crab. And this is a card about the alchemist, he who stands in, in the starry skies behind him and he has the reins and he controls both the white and the black sphinx, the unconscious and the conscious. He's the one, the alchemist, who drives, drives the body and the emotional body and the physical body. He's the willpower within there, but he's the alchemist. He's the magician who has chosen alchemy as his science. And he is able to use the art and the science of alchemy just like a, a, just like a, a physician or a doctor would use the science of medicine as an art and a science. It's not just a science, it's an also an art. Astrology is a science, and Manly P. Hall said it is indeed a science. It is also the strangest of all sciences. That is for astrology itself. Now. Again, we're going to give you just, again, Michael of the Sun, use gold, sunstone, and the tarot card of the sun. For Muriel, you're going to want to use silver and ruby, and you're going to want to use the tarot card of the chariot. Now, that's for the summer solstice in the sign of Cancer. Regarding the moon in Aries, now this is going to really increase the amount of yang energy or masculine energy or fiery energy because the sign of cancer is cardinal water so it's fire water fire of water so that increases the fiery element the fact that the moon is going to be in aries and lunar mansion number one is going to increase that sort of warrior fiery spirit and the fire water the vitriolic spirit the acidic spirit okay now, this is also going to be tempered by the fact that it's a waning moon. Because again, just a, a few hours earlier, there will be a waning half moon in Pisces. And then by the time we have the sun ingress cancer, the moon will be 
just falling down from the waning moon into just a waning moon, but it's still it's still half moon, but it'll eventually the next day start to be a waning crescent moon, okay? And but not yet. It'll still be a, a half moon, but it'll be on the other side of the peak and it will no longer be in Pisces. It'll be in Aries. So it'll be a weakened waning half moon. That'll bring down that vitriol a little bit, but Aries is a powerful lunar mansion number one now that it's moved into at 9.13 a.m. is powerful. So the moon in Aries, again, just a few hours after that waning half moon in Pisces. The summer solstice, soul ingress cancer at, at 9.13 a.m., the moon will be in lunar mansion number one, Aries the Ram, favorable for energetic activity, though take heed that adversaries attempt to intimidate for the purpose of inflicting dissension and dislodgement of persons and businesses upon opponents during this mansion. So there's sort of an attack going on. Beware pictures or icons depicting a dark, grim, or black warrior wearing an outfit made of hair that encircles around his midsection while with his right arm tossing a piercing weapon. Okay, This rendering is used to annihilate a specific person or group. From the horns of Aries, in the constellation of Aries the Ram, with lunar angel Geniel and Lord Geritz. So you can supplicate these angels to do your bidding, and the Lord Geritz and angel Geniel. According to Kabbalistic lore, Aries is ruled by Mars, and the Aries birthstone is diamond. The, the metal for Aries, because of Mars, would be iron. Now, the moon in Aries was astrology angel Gabriel of the moon and zodiac angel Melchizedek of Aries. So, when the moon is in Aries, you're going to use Gabriel for the moon, but you're going to want to use Melchizedek, who's the zodiac angel for Aries. The angel Geniel, or Geniel, G-E-N-I-E-L, maybe Geniel, or Geniel, or Geniel, Geniel, is for lunar mansion number one. There are more than one mansion in the sign of Aries. That's the secret. There's 28 lunar mansions, okay? There's only 12 zodiac signs. So there's the, the specific lunar mansion is Geniel, the angel, Lord Geritz, and the general Aries zodiac angel is Melchidael. Gabriel is for the moon itself the planetary angel of the moon. Moon in Aries brings enthusiasm, authority, novelty, influence, and attentiveness, also known to possess a high degree of viability in regards to personality traits. Magical talismans for the sign of Aries, the ram, is the metal, again, of iron and the birthstone of diamond. You can make some very interesting jewelry, talismans, rosaries, amulet, that kind of thing. Invoke planetary archangel Gabriel of the moon with lunar talisman of metal of silver and the gemstone of moonstone. Major arcana tarot card for the moon is the high priestess, the high priestess card, who sits betwixt the pillars of Yakim and Boaz, hold, holding the Torah in her hand. Now understand that the tarot and the Torah have a magical connection. Remember in the movie Yento, in the beginning, they had the guy come in his wagon drawn by a horse saying, scripture books for men and picture books for women. Women is the right brain, the creative, all powerful right brain is creative. The, the noise of the words, words, just simple words and text, and scripture is noise for the logic of the left brain. It's just a distraction of the magician who does the real work in the right brain and the symbols therein understand that, that the women and the right brain has power. As the, the rabbinical students and Yentl's friend who was her, the guy she loved, but also her best friend, he tried to tell her, you make people, you make, you give creation, you make, give life to gods and goddesses. You're the creatrix. What more could you want? <laughs> That's what he said. It, it's true. That's where the magic is done. All of the talking and all the scriptures are, and all of the laws are just to distract you while the real magic is done through simple pictures by the high priestess, by the moon. The powers in the moon and the lunar mansions. Understand that. Evoke zodiac angel 
Malkidael of Aries, the ram, with the talismans of the metal of iron and the gemstone of diamond. The sign of Aries is ruled by the red planet Mars, major account of tarot for Aries is the emperor card. He is the majesty who rules over all and gives people, the father figure, the feeling of power. So, and also it gives them a feeling of safety, but the emperor himself, he invokes and he manifests because he has one receptive hand upholding the world and another hand which is kind of like the, kind of like the, the pharaoh that holds the whip and the kiss or the, he has the manifestation in one hand where he, he holds the receptive hand where he invokes the world, but the other hand he has his scepter where he, he rules with the law. Okay, but this is the father figure, like in that movie Yentl, the father figure where when someone, when Yentl's father died, she, over her heart, tore her lapel to show her sadness for the death of her father. So that's going to be all the things you can use to invoke the angelic energies for these mansions. Now, important resources for lunar mansion magic and talismans that we use and the angels that we use. You're going to want to look at Lunar Mansion, Magic and Lords and Angels. You're going to want to take a look at the book Picatrix by Maslama al Madriti, and also three books of Occult Philosophy by Henry Cornelius Agrippa, and also The Mansions of the Moon, a Lunar Zodiac for Astrology and Magic, with the Ephemeris and other information and pointer stars according to Christopher Warnock and Renaissance Astrology, whereas the three books of occult philosophy is according. It's published by Llewellyn. The Warnock book is Renaissance Astrology. I think Renaissance Astrology has. I'm not sure, but check with them. They might have ways for you to acquire Picatrix. Okay, and there are other people who annotate, but the authorship is awarded to by most sources as a being the author of Picatrix, Maslama Al Madriti. Okay, thanks for joining us. Join us again next time.